Picture yourself lifting an entire city or moving planets to planets, traversing the stars, looking at life being created outside of it. Just picture yourself as this almighty, powerful being, right? Think of any power within fiction. This is what cultivation offers you. And today we are going to cover it. It's your boy Raikai. Today we're going to be covering what is cultivation, who are cultivators, the key realms in cultivation used throughout other series. And I'm going to give you a quick rundown of these key realms. And by the end of this video, I shall be giving a list of my favorite uh, cultivators. So what is cultivation? Well, cultivation actually is the practice of martial arts and mystical arts to whatever degree the writer wants to write it through body refinement and the refinement of the mind and the absorption of key. That is cultivation in a nutshell. It differs from author to author and it varies on how people acquire cultivation, but it's essentially just martial arts and mystical arts. Granted, very powerful mystical arts cause um, some of these arts are to rewind time and give life into other creatures, necromancy, whatever ability you can think of cultivation covers it. That will be covered in another video, but just understand that cultivation is the practice of mystical arts and it's true body refinement and essentially it's it's the goal post of what, doing whatever it takes to have a longer lifespan that is the essence of cultivation in a nutshell doing whatever it takes to have a longer lifespan to defy the heavens that is what it means to these cultivators and this leads me into my next topic who are cultivators who are cultivators well as i was saying before they are heaven defiers whatever it means to defy the will of the heavens sure you will have some cultivators that live by accepting the heavens rule whatever the heavens hand out whatever scraps the heaven feeds off their plate you will have cultivators who who accept that and they live rather long lifespans they get long lifespans they are rather powerful but get this no matter how powerful they are they could have been even more powerful if they lived by defying the heavens so basically the analogy is picture there's a fruit tree right at the bottom of a tree at the bottom of the fruit tree while it's bearing there will be fruit and you will have some people that will stay underground and pick the, these fruits right granted these are fruits that are nice and whatever but if you know anything about fruit trees the best fruit bro it's at the top and the only way to get these fruits is to climb the tree so think of the heavens as a fruit tree right and in order to get stronger you have to climb this fruit tree even though it's climbing it's actually defined the heavens because learn this once you become too powerful as a cultivator the heavens will try to destroy you right so you complying to the heavens mean you will never surpass average so you have like regular cultivators who live just to get a longer lifespan but if you want anything out of cultivation you need to have a crash and burn mindset either i get this or i die these are actually true cultivators this is what cultivation is and almost every mc that leads a cultivation story this is the type of behavior you will see and that leads me into my next topic what are these realms that cultivation and cultivators go through so what are the realms of cultivation what is the stages of cultivation well really and truly there are a lot of stages these authors cannot make up their mind but i will use the most consistent stages i have seen throughout all of my reading of these stories and the most common are key condensation 
right? And key condensation is basically where you actually develop superhuman moves and peak human abilities, right? So key condensation, this is where your body actually starts to transform. Then you have foundation establishment. In this, you're, you're basically stacking each of these realms, right? So you have everything from key condensation carry over to foundation establishment. This is where most authors give their MCs the ability to fly and most of these foundation establishment cultivators will have the ability to fly at this point or at least traverse long distances on top of the superhuman physique and, and senses, right? Then you have golden core. This is where you get an overall multiplier by magnitude. Each of these leaps go up by magnitude. Um, I'm only going to glance over these stages because I have a cultivation realm video for each of these realms where I will go in key detail for this. So after Golden Court, you have Nascent Soul. At Nascent Soul, you're, you're basically a god in the verse. You're basically a middle tier god in the verse of cultivation. Depending on the auto, you can either be... There, there can either be a lot of nascent soul or not really because this is where the the real turning point of the story turns anytime the character reach nascent soul this is where the story really starts to turn and get a little bit more exciting and a little bit more flashy with the powers all right and nascent soul really gives a lot of benefits aside from having one of the longest lifespans in the verse once you have a nascent soul by default you should get additional like 1000 year of lifespan at least depending from auto to auto but nascent soul is where it really begins so all right we'll make it to the end of the video and in this segment i'm gonna be covering all of the stories i will be covering on this channel that has to do with cultivation. So on this channel, I'm gonna be covering a will eternal, perfect world, otherworldly evil monarch, stellar transformation, swallowed star. We won't be covering a lot of these stories because not a lot of people are covering them and I don't mind covering them. I really love to talk about them. And in the future, there will be more. Because there are also novel only stories that I will be covering because some of them just aren't getting enough justice as it is. So I look forward to rocking with you guys. I hope you enjoy the journey with me. This is your boy Raikai. I'm only out. Okay.